guys. So I just wanted to share with you a little bit of a situation that had. Let me just update you on the situation. So I'm trying to think of how I can put all this. While I was doing the adoption event, doing the applications, doing the, you know, setting up the events, dealing with the volunteers and everything. Um, there was such a negative impact on me with this individual and this organization, the lady that runs it, let's just put it that way. Um, you know, I'm a type of person, I'm very patient to a certain extent and once you have pushed me to a different level then i now have lost trust in you and i have no faith in you and you're just more trouble than you're actually worth to even be dealing with or be around so i noticed i want to say back in maybe February, maybe January, maybe it's in our January event, which I believe if I remember, yeah, December and January and possibly February's events were inside um, the Pet Supply Plus store that we had the adoption events at. And I started to notice that I would take, you know, my vitamins, I take all my supplements, um, and everything, but I did notice that once I got there and I started to set up, whether it's inside, outside, um, the stress level of trying to get everything done, I would have everything organized, um, all my contracts, I had everything together. Everything was just, you know, always had everything so perfect and organized. I noticed that I would say around 12 o'clock, my body would start to, I would have this very uncomfortable um, pain in my joints where I would have a hard time if I'd been standing for a long period of time to sit down I mean, to get back up um, to the point, um, just feeling very lethargic, very um, drained, a lot of fatigue. Um, you know, it just started to like deteriorate and people started to notice I was limping after a certain point of time during the event. And it normally would start maybe around 12 o'clock because I would be there at eight o'clock in the morning to set up tables and tents or in crates and everything that needs to be done. And I knew something was wrong and I let it go until possibly... April, you know, I started to think, okay, I'm getting older, body changes, things happen. Maybe I'm not drinking enough water while I'm there throughout the day. I definitely don't stop to, to eat. I go, 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 go until it's over. Then my husband said, maybe you have Lyme disease being around all these dogs that are coming from Georgia and you know, maybe you picked up a parasite, picked up something from them. So I was like, okay, let me go to the doctor and let me see what's going on. So, lo and behold, I go to my doctor, Dr. Joe, and lo and behold, they did $8,000 worth, worth of blood work. And it took probably about... A week or two for me to get my results back but he called me and I'll never forget we went to Lowe's to get um, plants to plant for my little garden things like that flowers to put in front of the house and things and um, he said that I have lupus it's not Lyme disease or anything else it's definitely lupus so of course you know I don't know that much about lupus, so I've had to do like all this research. Now it's August, going into September. Um, but I definitely 
knew something was wrong, something was not right. Um, and it can also be attributed contributed to other factors that I don't want to like bring up because of the pandemic that we're in and the nonsense that we're dealing with right now. So I just wanted to, you know, let you know that I do have some days that are okay and then I have some days that are bad. You know, I have to go take hot showers frequently throughout the day to try to loosen up, you know, the joints and, and things and muscles that get very stiff. Um, so, you know, with the whole process of dealing with this, trying to learn what I should and shouldn't eat, um, you know, making definitely some changes in my diet and in my lifestyle, I have to learn and it's taking me time to learn that I need to take one day at a time and I don't need to push myself. Once my body is telling me, okay, if you're tired, take a little 15, 20 minute nap and reset and, you know, start over. But this has definitely helped me back quite a bit. And, you know, when I decided to make this leap on top of all the other cluster fuck stuff that was going on with this woman, you know, um, I had to really step back and look at the whole entire picture of my health, um, how I'm treated, the time I invest in it. There is no benefits for me. Um, I have a big project, actually two big projects that I'm trying to, or not projects, let's just say it's becoming a project for me, but it is two brands that I'm trying to launch and I have put it aside to work with this organization which, like I said before in the other video, I didn't waste my time saving these animals and putting them in good homes. I constantly have people reach out to me, you know, asking me questions and how they can do this and do that. You know, I definitely do not recommend um, this organization anymore and I will no longer support it. Um, I do let people know that there's another young lady that used to be with this rescue and she's on her own now. Find out from her. Um, you know, if she has cats, kittens, puppies, dogs available for adoption and I'll forward their information, you know, to her or vice versa. But I just wanted to share with you that I went through some major, you know, issues in the situation that I allowed to go on for too long and things like that. I'm always an optimistic person thinking that things will change and get better, but obviously it was just getting worse and worse and people were warning me and I was not listening. But, oh, excuse me, I'm getting sleepy. But now, you know, I'm learning as time goes by on how to deal with certain situations with certain kind of people and um, removing myself from those type of situations. So that's it. I just wanted to share with you a little bit of what was going on. Okay. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Listen, not for nothing, but to invest all this time volunteering, not getting any appreciation and helping every which way I can, as well as my husband taking money out of his pocket to do things for this lady's events. Um, making 30 something thousand dollars each month off of my hard work for her. Um, it's just, to me, it's a scam. Charging $700 for each puppy and $300 for each kitten. I don't know who in the hell in their right mind would go and pay $300 for a kitten when you can go to someone's backyard and get it for free. Just saying. Scam. Much. Hi guys. So this is Thursday. So happy Thursday. Anywho, moving along with the situation. So I ended up having to completely cut this woman off because I realized that she is mentally unstable. She is a narcissist and she has psychological major issues. When I attended the last event, which is back in June, um, she was acting quite strange. 
she brought some woman with her that is from Boston, but the woman flew from Boston to Georgia and then from Georgia rode up here with Maria, with the lady. And, you know, I, all I can say is this broad does not appreciate anything people do. She's nothing but a scam artist. Um, she sent me some messages that were totally inappropriate. She made threats with a gun about another volunteer to another volunteer, um, which is totally unacceptable. And I will not affiliate myself with this kind of drama and nonsense and the ignorance. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put here in the video, some of the comments, um, or things that she said and messages, um, that is totally unacceptable. So I had decided on that day, um, that was the end. I will not support or tolerate anyone that is being a bully, um, that's pissed off because someone else doesn't agree with her ways because her ways do not make sense. I have text messages from so many people complaining about the way that she does things um, down to she says she tests animals with our dogs for heartworms, which is bullshit lie. I found out from another volunteer. Um, and we've had animals come up that supposedly been tested that ended up with... So, continuing on. This is the dog that she sold for $800 rescue prices. She didn't put any money into it, just took it from the shelter. Anywho, this is the dog that she sold $800 to a poor man, or he's not a poor man, but the man had a stroke four months prior to adopting this dog. So the gentleman reached out to me and explained to me that he took the dog, he got the first available appointment. Now, this woman had me change up her contracts and things to benefit her, of course, and said if you don't get the dog evaluated within the first week, anything that goes wrong or happens, she's not responsible. So that right there shows me that's a scam because you know it's hard to get doctor's appointments, um, being that I was diagnosed with lupus, I made my appointment back in July, August for my rheumatologist and I can't see him until October 13th. So I don't know what makes her think that she's high and almighty and you don't work with people. But anyway, man calls me and says it's going to cost $3,000 to do it. So I reached out to her and I told her, this is not right. You need to fix this problem. So what does she say? Tell him to give me the dog back. I'll take it back with me to Georgia and I'll have them down there shoot arsenic into the dog's heart to try to kill the heartworms. We don't know if the dog is going to survive or not, but she's not giving the money back because she says she tested the dog was negative, which is total bullshit because she doesn't test anybody and nor does her vet. This is all a big scam. Anyway, moving on. This particular kitten right here, her name is Rose. She was sold two times. First family paid $300 for her. The guy went home with her overnight, called me and said he felt like his, close, his throat was closing up and that he's not going to be able to keep her. So I met with him at the store to pick her up from him. She turned around and wanted me to re-put the cat out there to be adopted. Another family adopted the cat, another $300, $600 for this cat instead of giving the money back. Then this other woman in New York, she pre-adopted three kittens from the same litter and it was from the vegetable group and she reached out to me and told me that her friend found a mother with her kittens somewhere there in the city and that she is going to take them in and that she wants her money back she's not going to be able to adopt three kittens so when I reached out to this knucklehead Maria and told her she oh she's not getting her money back such a greedy-ass woman. 
just stealing from people. I cannot support that bullshit. Then, let's see who else we got. Oh, then she has this uh, white German shepherd, as she put, you know, she lies about breeds. She knows people don't want pit bulls. She never puts, his, always lab mix, lab mix, bullshit. Be honest and tell people what they're getting and stop bullshit with people. But she's not an honest person. Then, here is the photo of some of the kittens that my husband and I did everything in our ability to try to save these cats, cats which we did a great job. Um, again, the knucklehead Maria wants to lie about, you know, she took them to the uh, urgent care. They stayed in urgent care for a week, which we all know is freaking bullshit because urgent care is like $1,000 a day. And if you got seven cats in there, it, that's 7000 which we know is bullshit. Anywho, she brings the cats up here the next month's event to get them adopted out. And lo and behold, a woman comes and gets the cat. And this is what she sends me in a text message. That she spoke to Westers and she knows that the cat was never tested, never got his vaccines. All this bullshit is just totally embarrassing. I hate scam artists. Then let's move on to, let's see, the next one. Oh, so we had two different events, two different dogs. One is named Rosie, cute as a button. This lady wanted it. They had already had two dogs. Her rules, you got to have a fenced in yard. You got to have this. You got to have that. It's like you jumping through freaking obstacles to adopt a dog, for God's sake. So... She tells this family, or tells me first, oh, yeah, I want them to adopt the dog. I, I really like them. I like their application. Okay, great and wonderful. I get them set up. They put a deposit down for the dog, everything. Then the next thing you know, she starts chaos with these people. It starts bullshitting with these people. Like, I don't get it. Then she tells them, no, you can't have the dog. All this back and forth. Then she tells me, oh, I don't want to deal with them. You deal with them. And I'm trying my best to make everything work and I'm just trying to communicate with them and everything and make a long story short this bitch goes behind my back to call the ice she says oh I'm gonna do a two-day event which she never does two-day events here since I've been doing it for nine months so I said okay fine I'll come up and help you at the store to do the adoption event on the rest of the puppies that didn't get adopted I get up there she's like oh no no go home go home go home and I was like, but you're going to need help. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Lo and behold, this woman and her daughter come driving all the way from freaking Connecticut to come and get this dog. Then she wants to look at me like, well, they were <laughs> crackhead syndrome. Exactly what she is. Exactly what my husband said. Every other volunteers, everybody tried telling me. Always defending this freaking crackhead. So... I was like, wow, what an asshole. Why do all this shit? So then when we have our event in June, this family comes to get a puppy. The mother, the woman is so happy. She has her camera. She's taking pictures of the dog, everything. That The husband comes up and he's getting a little frustrated because it's taking forever because Maria doesn't understand that people have a life outside of her bullshit. So... The man's like, how long is this going to take? He starts to get upset. So then she starts yelling at him, what's your problem? Uh, no, you're not adopting one of my dogs. Just being a fucking asshole like she always is. This poor woman followed her on the store begging and pleading. Begging and pleading. Crying. Then she's like in fetal position on the freaking sidewalk in front of the store begging. Why can't she have the dog? And all Maria's excuses, oh, I don't like your husband. I don't like it. Well, nobody likes you either. You're an asshole. And then I kept thinking to myself, wow, everybody I come encounter with, everybody has something negative to say about this woman. Like, what, what is going on? And then the talk around town and all these towns and all the other uh, rescues, everybody's talking shit about her. And I was like, wow, how can it be everybody is wrong and she's the right one? No, no, no. I figured out, you're the asshole. 
you're the low life and you are the one that is scamming people. And if she doesn't get the dog adopted, oh, she'll have a landlord shoot the dog in the head, get rid of it and bury it. Oh, yes. That's how much she loves rescuing animals. It's all about the Benjamins. I figured you all out. You stupid ass broad. So, anywho, moving along, one of the volunteers reached out to me and says, Oh, did you see this on Facebook? And I said, I don't even follow this broad anymore. I don't even communicate with her. She is blocked. She is not worth my time. She's nothing but a low life. Oh, she gave the dog to the lady uh, that was there crying the day of the event. I said, no freaking way. Yep, she sends, the girl sends me a screenshot of it. And I was like, wow. I was like, what a low life to make herself like, oh, I'm a hero. No, you're a dumbass. You're a crackhead. You are nothing and nobody. So, anywho, I am going to end this because I can't stand talking about this waste of life human being. Um, a low life that serves no purpose in this earth, uh, but stealing from people and robbing people and dangling little animals over their heads. You, you, you want an animal from me? You better do as I say. Do as I say. Anywho, I'll put all this here and you can read it for yourself. Okay.